Louisiana Living. And welcome back. I'm here with Dr. Alicia Jones, founder of the Jones Center of Arts and Academic Excellence. Thank you so much, Dr. Jones, for joining us. Thank it's you. great to have you. We're here to talk about a quiz ball that's coming up. But first, tell us about the Jones Center of Arts and Academic Excellence and what type of work do you do? Yes, so um, about a year ago, myself and several educators and administrators came together and decided that we wanted to do something different in Monroe for our nonprofit. And so what we do is um, we try to transform lives through arts education and academic excellence. So things like support services for students, literacy initiatives, and of course, arts education. What is your goal as far as changing the literacy rates here in our area? Yeah, so when you think of things um, that uh, promote long-term success for students like mm -hmm. standardized test scores, ACT scores, um, college admission rates, all of those are tied to literacy and reading comprehension. And what promotes literacy, um, academic excellence, that reading comprehension, classes, support, even financial support, and arts education, actually data has shown that it positively influences academic achievement as well. Mm -hmm. So we want to kind of combine those things through support services, through tutoring, through um, arts enhancement and academic enhancement um, so to just push the envelope for our students to challenge them to be all that they can be yeah one enhancement is yeah. a quiz bowl that's coming up yes. so currently you're having a fundraiser mm -hmm. and tell us about the fundraiser and then go into the quiz bowl and what's going to be happening there yes yeah, so I'm really excited about it um, right now we're doing a fundraiser that ends on August 1st so this week mm -hmm. where we're raising five thousand dollars and the purpose of that is is we have a literacy quiz bowl. International Day of Literacy is September 8th, my birthday. Oh, happy <laughs> early so, birthday. Thank yeah. you. And so we're celebrating by having a quiz bowl. And so, you know, most students have to do summer reading. And so mm -hmm. we're taking um, that summer reading and we're going to be testing them on it. So different schools are going to be competing against each other for cash prizes. And so our fundraiser is raising money for those cash prizes. So we're so excited. It's going to be Shelling versus J.S. Clark, MLK versus Carol Jr., and Carol versus Wasman. So you know that's a, a big rivalry in our oh, city yeah. and we're so excited for it. Quiz bowls are great. Yep. Now the students at those schools, is it too late for them to enter the quiz bowl? Do you have to have certain qualifications? Yeah, so it's um, certain grades. So it's mm -hmm. fifth, fifth through sixth grade for our elementary levels. It's seventh through eighth grade for our junior high levels and then ninth through 12th for our high school levels. So they should just reach out to their administrators and they have um, all have team captains, which are some good. teachers. Uh -huh. And the teachers also get some cash prizes as well. So it's a little extra incentive for mm -hmm. our educators because they deserve it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, they do. Now, you mentioned you're a nonprofit. I know yes. you're in need of donations. Mm -hmm. How can the community out there help? Yes, so we have um, a Facebook page. It's the Jones Center of Arts and Academic Excellence, or the Jones Center AAE. Um, they can go straight to our Facebook, and like I said, we have that um, fundraiser that's going on right now. And with those funds, we'll develop things like our website, and all of the funds, all of the donations are going to be um, tax exempt. So we'll be able to, you know, have those donations at the end of the year, be able to give them credit for that. So we're so excited about that. I love what the Jones Center offers our kids and children and teens in the yes. community. I know there are parents out there who want to know more and get more information and then maybe yes. get their children involved. How can they do that? Yes, so definitely um, head on over to our Facebook page. We and, we and if you go on our Facebook page, we'll be posting updates periodically about our events and also how to join our newsletter. So we have a newsletter that goes out periodically of all the events that we're going to be doing um, along with in 2024, but ex especially for 2025. We have some big things coming up, including scholarships, um, some other initiatives for students to do arts, arts mentorship, and um, other things, other things I can't say. <laughs> yeah, okay, before we uh, end the interview, we got a few seconds left. Yes. If somebody wants to donate for the fundraiser, how can yes. they do that? Exact same way. Just okay. head on over to our Facebook, uh, www.facebook.com backslash the Jones Center, AAE, and our um, fundraiser is pinned right at the top. All right, Dr. Jones, right. thank you so much for coming on the Louisiana Living. We thank look forward so to much. having you back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. And up next, Katrina Branson.